In this video, I will be showing you the simplest Raspberry Pi Pico project you can do. We are going to use the onboard LED and cause it to blink using Thani and MicroPython. If you don't have Thani installed, then go check out our latest video in the Raspberry Pi Pico series and we can show you how to do it there. I'll also include that link in the description. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Now we're going to actually dive into the code you can use to make your Raspberry Pi Pico light up. And to do this, we'll need to import two libraries. The first one we're going to import is called Machine. The Machine library is what lets you access the GPIO pans on your Raspberry Pi Pico. The next library we need to import is Utime. The Utime library is what allows you to pause your code execution for a certain amount of time. So in this example, we'll be using that to turn our light on with the machine library, and then we'll use the time library to pause it. Then we'll use machine to turn the light off and then pause for another certain amount of time. So that's the logic we're going to implement. But first, we need to tell MicroPython where to actually look on our Raspberry Pi Pico to get the output from. So we need to tell Thani and MicroPython which of our GPIO pans are we going to output to. And so we're going to create a variable called MyLED, which is going to refer to the pin on our Pico that has the onboard LED. So we'll set the equal to machine that pin. And then we'll pass in the pin number, which is 25. And we'll be outputting to this pin. So we'll say machine that pin out. So this line, we have a variable called myLED, and we're using the machine library, and we're going to output to pin 25. Now we actually need to continually turn these lights on and off, and in order to do something continually, we're actually going to use an infinite loop here. So we'll say while true, and we'll take myLED and set the value, and we'll pass in 1. 1 means on and 0 means off. So here we're turning the LED on. And we don't want to immediately turn it on and off and just have it flutter very quickly. We want it to take some time and pause in between cycles so that you can actually see what's going on. So next we'll use the uTime library. And we'll use the sleep function which just pauses our code execution for a set amount of time. You pass in this value in seconds. So if you want to sleep for one minute, you will pass in 60, but we're just going to turn it on, for one, on and then sleep for a second, and then we'll turn it off. So you can use my, my LED, that value, and pass in 0 to turn it off. So you can use U time, and we'll sleep for one more second, and this will just continually repeat. The next thing we'll want to do is we'll go to File and Save As, and we'll save it to our Raspberry Pi Pico. We'll name our file blinking.py and then click save. And now we're going to click the run button. When you click run, you might actually get a module not found error saying no module name machine. And there's a simple fix to that. We can go to our settings and Thani. I'm on a Mac, so it's listed as preferences. And then go to your interpreter, and instead of selecting the same interpreter which wants Thani, which is the default, click that drop down and find Mas Raspberry Pi Pico MicroPython. And we'll just leave it as detect port automatically, and then click OK. And then you'll get a prompt that prompts you to install MicroPython firmware for Raspberry Pi Pico. So go ahead and click install. And this might take several seconds or maybe even up to a couple of minutes, so I'll come back when this is done. Once that finishes, it will say done in the bottom left and you'll be able to close your window. You might also get this disk not objected properly message. You can ignore that. That happens all the time and it's completely normal. It doesn't mean you did anything wrong. So go ahead and click close. And now we'll actually run our code again. So click run current script. And now you should see your Raspberry Pi Pico blinking again. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. 
We have a lot of videos about Python programming and also about Raspberry Pis on our channel. And we have a lot more content planned for you in the future. So please subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.